with a deer that yearns for running streams. So my soul yearns for you, my Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the air. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel, Depsocon TV Tamale and Facebook channel, Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsocon Tamale. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and it dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together we pray. Pour forth, you receive thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you are welcome to living streams of water. Today is the Tuesday of the first week of Lent. I would like to share with you with the first reading. Thus says the Lord, As the rain and the snow comes down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making it spring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I intend, and prosper in the things for which I sent it. The Word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this reading reminds me of the various quotations that we use in our advert as living streams of water. Isaiah chapter 55, the verses 10 to 11. Today, the word of God is described in comparison with rain. In our world today, especially for us in the north, we are in the dry season. 
Every place is dry. Every place is warm. Things have become very dry. We are just praying and needing a drop of water. And we'll see how things will change. When the water comes and falls onto the earth, it soaks. And once it soaks, its photosynthesis takes place. And once it takes place, it brings forth new growth. It brings forth new establishment. It brings forth new life into the plant. And once it is this way, that is where we can see the joy and love of God. My dear brother, my dear sister, when we see this joy coming up, so it is with the word that is bestowed upon us. The word is described as rain that falls upon us. The word is described as one that gives the sower the seed. That gives the one who is hungry bread. That gives the word of God an accomplishment, an establishment in our lives. I want to ask you today. The Tuesday of the first week in Lent. My dear brother, my dear sister, when the word of God comes to you, do you allow that word to accomplish whatever he comes to do in your life? Maybe you may ask, what sort of establishment, what sort of accomplishment is the world need to do? We are told in scriptures that as it falls down, it does not return, but the water fills the earth. It makes things sprung up, as I described in the dry season that we have. Now, if things are coming up, if things are making forth its growth, if things are coming for it to sprung up, then it means that the word of God has found a fertile seed in us it has found a fertile ground in us it has found something for it to grow on with so the word of god that is spoken to us which in genesis will tell you let there be light and there was light that same word finds an accomplishment a soul within our heart our souls our bodies so that that word becomes a word that nourishes us becomes a word that transforms us becomes a word that guides govern and guard us in everything that we do and that is what the word of god wants to find in us like living streams of water that flows that springs up and waters the ground so it is and might find root in our own lives yes this root that is going to find is a root that is going to give us understanding peace joy and grace it is something that is going to make us know that the lord who turns his eyes towards us will always remember us in times of our difficulty because he will establish peace on our bodies. He will give us life and he will direct our path in everything that we do. As the word of God accomplishes in our life this day, I pray that it may bring forth new strength to us. It may enlighten us. It may guide us and lead us to a path of righteousness so that we may prosper in everything that we do because the word of god is light the word of god is fire the word is god is that rain that nourishes us and comes unto us like the holy spirit that bring forth growth in our day-to-day -day lives may the lord bless and keep you may he face shed his light upon you and may he grant you his peace all the days of your life may he bless you the father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
have a pleasant moment. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul yearns for you, my Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the earth. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel, Depsocon TV Tamale and Facebook channel, Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsocon Tamale. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church.